tonight. New information on the weekend shooting death of a 12-year-old girl. The child, an innocent victim, caught in a love triangle. Two people arrested. Bess Casserly getting answers on what provoked gunfire. Then, an outpouring of support for the Denham Springs police officer who was shot while answering a call for help last week. The community lining up to donate blood as Corporal Sean Kelly fights for his life. Plus, the investigative unit with a particularly concerning report. This man, in and out of court for rape and other charges. The problem, he had an active arrest warrant for an unrelated crime, and no one noticed. Chief Investigator Chris Nakamoto with details on how the system failed. And hit and miss showers and thunderstorms start the work week. Timing the front that will bring more active weather and the end to it. Also, the LSU baseball team stumbles again. The Tigers dropping another weekend series. Pitching problems leading to lots of questions with just one week left in the regular season. Then, join us for the move over to WBRZ Plus. NBA star J.A. Morant, benched after video showing what appears to be a gun in his hand, circulated on social media. And it's not the first time the league has taken disciplinary action against him. What he faces this time in the second half hour of news on WBRZ Plus at 6.30 investigative in depth this is wbrz news 2 at six. First on the news at six o'clock we are learning new details from channel two michael shingleton sylvia weatherspoon your storm station forecast with josh eaches and michael cobble with sports this is wbrz news 2 at six Sports with Matt Trent. Thanks for watching WBRC News 2 at 6. If you have any feedback about tonight's news, we'd like to hear from you. Contact us at news at WBRZ.com. Have a great evening.